I barely resurrected myself from that party. Blades destroyed Tink's character, Claire had devastated work with betrayal, and I was kind of dumped. Twice. I allowed myself a few pints of self-pity ice cream, old lady butter pecan, FYI, and I've decided I'm gonna get all of us into a great mood. How? The expansion to our game is coming out. The Spires of Dragonor. New continent, new powers, most importantly, new character hairstyles. I'm hoping it will help heal some of the wounds in the guild. Make us focus on what matters. It's about the game, not each other. <laughs> Dumb humans. Ooh, brain freeze. Ooh. game commute. <laughs> awesome, right? <laughs> <clears throat> uh, and there are going to be um, a lot of changes to the warlock powers. It's going to be way easier to summon your familiars. Hmm. I'm the huh. only one who summons your familiars, right, baby? Oh, yeah. Innuendoed. Oh, hey, Blades. This making out with actual humans is unbelievable. <laughs> Watch your wallet. Is the store open yet? I have 15 minutes to get back to the Fry Dipper. You got a job? Yeah, I'm paying off credit cards that ran up buying crap for Tink. Working is soul crushing. I can't believe adults live like this. Ah. Uh, what a waste. Fork, you want to hear about the new metalworking recipes? Not now. I'm making found objects too. Sidewalk living requires hearty sustenance. You didn't have to camp out two days early. It's not like they're going to sell out. There'll be plenty of copies of the game. It's a symbolic gesture, Codex. My malfeasance as guild leader has caused heartache, vagrancy, and a possible spread of STDs. Assuring our place is first in line was a small thing I could do to rebuild my credibility. Well, we're all excited to be first to get the new expansion. <laughs> Some of us a little too much. Oh. <sighs> Your tongue is such a randy gymnast. I'm not sure that's your uvula. <laughs> and that's actually figure skating. Don't talk. Oh. Hey, Gildy. Sorry I'm late. It took forever to find a children's department around here. Your kids are in a store right now without you? Not entirely. Mommy's at the GameStop. I love you. Over. <laughs> Clara, that's a baby monitor. It only goes one way. Well, I'll buy something when I pick them up. I'm not trashy. Where's Tink? Right there. <gasps> Ooh. Blades is payback at her heart, huh? No, Tink hired this lady to stand in line for her. She didn't want to spend more time around Blades than she had to. OMG, what a drama queen. I'm four grand in debt from her lady demands. Who's the victim here? You know, you smell like... Oh, yeah, garlic fries. <laughs> Shut up. Clara, I... er... you. Oh. Work, are you okay? Seeing Clara has elicited feelings of extreme shame and panic, not unlike my first experience at a pay toilet. Oh, clear blue ocean, clear blue ocean. I think I need to confront her, seek insight into how I failed her so miserably as a leader. No, no, that is not a good idea. Uh, don't bait the trolls, right? <laughs> not that Claire is a troll, it's just... Listen, I think the guild needs to move on from the other night. I'm not entirely comfortable watching Zabu make out with that stupid tall hot girl. Um, Riley, it's just... The other name rolls off the tongue so well, and, uh... Ugh. Remind me to take you on a road trip sometime. And by that, I mean do not remind me, because I would not go. You talk a lot. I know. Mm. What got mixed in his mouthwash? Nothing. Everything's fine. Mm. The world probably just feels bad about what happened, you know? Remember? He, you attacked and killed him over and over again when he didn't give you that orb. Oh, yeah, I forgot. What a jerk. No, Clara, Clara, uh, have you seen the new storm powers in the mage's ice tree? They added a whole new set of wind powers. I got some wind power to show you. <laughs> you oh, come on, Blades. You can't set that up and not deliver. <laughs> Yay, fart jokes. This is awesome. <laughs> Thanks for holding our spot. Excuse me, you're cutting. That's right. We are.
So the guild is already on delicate ground, and a bunch of jerks cut in front of us in line. Illegal? I would never do that. Of course, one time I got caught holding the door open after an orchestra concert for 25 minutes straight, so I'm not really the best measure of assertiveness. Anyway, I'm looking at these guys, and then I get an idea. Standing up for ourselves might be a great way to reunify the guild. I mean, it's easy to bond over hating something together. <laughs> the internet is total proof of that. Excuse me! You guys! Our line got cut! That guy's wearing a kilt. <laughs> I hear they go commando under there. Oh yeah. Work! People cut in front of us in line! A whole group! What the? Who? How? Excuse me, gentlemen. Ma'am, you may not have noticed, but the line forms behind us. Actually, this line, it forms behind us. Good one, Fox. Turn it around and drive it home. To clarify, your group should be behind the others who arrived previously. Why? I don't understand the question. Your mom doesn't understand the question. Bombed idiot. You asking me why? Having just arrived, you need to be at the back of a line? Let me offer you an historical perspective. At the beginning of the Common Era, people attending events simply gathered in mass, clustered and clumped together in an unorganized manner. After several thousand years of this, they slowly gravitated to the back of individual fellows and began to stand behind one another in a horizontal fashion, forming what they now commonly refer to as the line. Going against that flies in the face of thousands of years of evolution and encourages utter chaos. And what's wrong with a little chaos? A little rebellion now and then is a good thing, Thomas Jefferson. A lot of order is a better thing. Vork, leader of the Knights of Good. Kids, don't hang on the clothes rack. Where's your mommy? Uh, Buzzkill? Why aren't we first? I paid Stinky Crack Addict over there a lot of money to hold my place. Mass Addict! Crack is for losers. Hey, I printed out the new Ranger pets for you. Or not. You tools need to step to the back of the line. Our guild was here first. Yo, Tink. Looking bitter. Go dine a fire. You guys can't just cut. Can't. But we did. And the world keeps spinning. Yeah. Now parlay, Peanut. The number one guild is number one in line. Deal with it! Um, who says you're number one? And be honest, are you naked under there? Server stats. Axis of anarchy rules. And yes, I am. Deal with it! Wait, Axis of Anarchy? You guys were the first on the server to down the Demon Lords of the Far Reaches. Yeah, and we'll be the first to get the expansion, the first to get the best loot, and the first to down the bosses. Uh -huh. I was hoping to avoid this, but I'm afraid I have to ask the authorities to intervene. I'm going to fetch the GameStop manager. What? Hey! Oh my god, help! Help! Control your steed, woman! Sir, this man just assaulted me. He almost pushed me out into traffic. I did nothing of the kind. I only have the deepest respect for the handicapped. My father was born without hind leg tendons. What kind of place is this? This poor, innocent, hot girl in a wheelchair. Ma'am, I am so sorry. That is unacceptable behavior. May I offer you a t-shirt or... Poster? Oh, I couldn't. Yes, I could. Do you mind if my friends and I wait inside with you? I'm so upset and, well, you know. Of course, please, come in. Please, come in, please. Come on in. Uh, sir, back of the line. Your friends, too. Why did you keep pushing her? I didn't push her. Do you think if I had telekinetic powers, I'd be standing here? No! I'd be hired by the Navy to aim missiles more efficiently or by Hollywood Studios to hold one woman aloft in her invisible plane. You should have pre-ordered. Bork, you suck. A real leader would press her hard. In front of a semi or something. Hey, guys, there's a new centaur mount you can get if you get faction with the Ronnie Centaur clan. A real centaur mount. That's cool, huh? As stimulating as riding a half-man would be, Tink is right. I hereby tender my resignation as leader of the Knights of Good. What? No, Vork, you can't do that. My stepping down will create a power vacuum that can be filled by someone more willing, eager, 
and responsible. Me, me! I've always wanted to be a princess. I'll wear a crown every time we play, and every Friday I declare Funny Noise Day, where you have to make a weird noise every time you kill somebody. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling the power rush already! As I said, someone qualified will step forward. I nominate myself to run the guild. First off, I'll clean out the trash. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Since when are you qualified? Last I remember, you don't even have a match level character. Only because you're a virtual murderer. How many Avatar skins do you have in your hard drive closet? Huh? Tink, I claim full responsibility for what transpired between you and Blades. I'm paying my penance. It's all I can do. It's not good enough. Oh. Well, how about Zabu? He brought us all together when he was stalking you. That's something. We're... Oh. Zabu, give it a rest, please. How do you feel about becoming new guild leader? Guild leader? Oh, no way am I sharing more of my little man than I have to. He's mine. Ah, yeah, whatever the Lady Nong my, on my neck says. Okay, I vote for Codex. I mean, you know, she's alone and has a ton of time on her hands, right? Well, that was hurtful but accurate. Everybody vote. The line's gonna move soon, and I have to pick up the tater tots and take them back to the old socks and chain. What the hell did you just say? Hey, work. Uh, I need use of the tent, man. Booty called. Twenty dollars an hour plus deposit. Done. Uh. Fork, endorse me. I'm your man. I can't throw my support behind any one individual. I just hope the one who accepts will hold the finest. Shut up. I vote for me. Well, that's one vote for each of us. That's perfectly not helpful. Well, you didn't vote, genius. Oh. Well, I vote for. Mm. Me? Not that I'm amazing, it's just, um, okay, you know, maybe not. Congratulations, Codex. You've just accepted the greatest responsibility in the history of your life. What? Are you kidding? Um, it's just until Vork retakes his position. I'm not a leader, I'm just more of a maintainer. We'll still work together as a team, right? So long, jerks. Is she flirting with him? The dude's wearing a skirt. Let's take a walk. Ooh, the line's moving. Kids, check out. Five minutes. Over. So, strange turn of events. You're looking at the new guild leader. <laughs> okay, okay. This is gonna be good for me. I need something to focus on, get my mind off myself. You know, like my inability to connect with men, constant unemployment, my nose being weirdly lumpy. Okay, I'm sad now, see? First item on my guild agenda, smoothing things over with Tink. Walking off like that was dramatic, but uh, she'll be back. We've been playing together over a year. That means something. What does that mean, actually? What's on the agenda? <laughs> I'm juggling gaming and sexual obligations now. Gotta set a firm schedule. GTD. <laughs> you guys, Tink quit. All her characters are gone. All of them? Even Tink, Tink 2.0, the early levels? Blades, don't make fun of that. You should have apologized to her. Okay, the only thing that would make me do that is a cashier's check for the price of the Caribbean cruise I bought her. And then, when I have the check in my hand, I still won't do it. Psych! Sorry, I had a hard time rounding up the kids. I found one of them sleeping on a shelf in the graphic card section. <laughs> He's so mine. <laughs> Loading. <gasps> Three discs, wow, so much new content. Clara, Tink quit the guild. <gasps> what? No. Did she send you a dagger with a note telling you how dumb you are? <laughs> no, why would she? Yeah, she did. F off, idiots, XOXO Tink. How did you know? Well, one night, we dished about our exit strategies. See, mine is to wait until everybody gets online and then scream into the mic, Take that, you dungeoneering bozos! Clara is ixnay on your ill gate nanny more! And then G quit. Pig Latin? Really? Well, it's the only foreign language I know. What are we gonna do, guys? Tink was part of the group. We're a guild. You can't just quit. Why don't you just try calling her or something? Me? Why? Because you're the deal leader now. Earn your title, yo. Uh, well, I don't have her contact info. Oh, I can help with that. Uh, no, no. I'm doing it already. Uh, I mean, it just happens, so we uh, she'll, she'll be back. We just need to give her some space, right? Hello? Codex. I left a box of guild leader paraphernalia on your doorstep. You didn't knock? Face to face? Twice in one day? It seemed unnecessary. 
Vork, Tink really quit the guild. What should I do? I can't advise you, Codex. The minute I abandoned the mantle of guild leader, I felt a lightening in my soul. Having five people depend on your calm guidance? It's overwhelming. Giving so much of yourself? Yeah, I can see how that probably weighed on you. I'll be sporadically online for the next several days. My Wi-Fi is still not repaired in my office due to Blade shenanigans. So I'm using this opportunity to explore humanity. I've abandoned everything familiar. My thought patterns, my methodologies. My sleepy time place. I'm going on the road. What? Lead me, O oh wireless gods. Okay, taking charge. I think we should all load up the expansion and then, you know, group up and go to the new lands together and stuff. Oh, thanks, Officer Obvious. You want to come over and help me aim while I pee pee too? <laughs> oh, Tink would have such a good comeback to that. You come up with one, Codex. Uh, something about your mama? Lame. Pretty lame. Hey, Tiger. Do you like playing dress up? It's I have this French maid's outfit that's a real turn on. Heck yeah, put it on. It's for you. You put it on. Uh, well, we're gonna put a few hours of the expansion in, so... You'd rather play with the game than with me. Everyone, work's not gonna be online for a while. Are we gonna be okay on DPS, yeah. Zabu? Zabu? No! We're gonna get our asses handed to us with two players missing. Simon, language! WTF, Dina. Why are you hiding over there like goddamn Gollum? Mom told me I was making too much noise in the house. She's being such a biatch lately. Dad dumped her. It had an effect. Does everyone have the expansion loaded up? How do I check who's ready to go on here? Oh, something's wrong. It's not finishing with the installation. Claire, I need to talk to you. I was uploading the pictures from the wedding onto your computer. Oh my god, how many did you put on here? I don't have enough space. This could ruin my install. Let's meet in Terran Keep. That's a good plan, right? Blades? Just a sec. No. No. This is the Blades pad. Not cool. Mom! Why is no one accepting my invite? Uh, Zabu, are you there? Do you want the game? Or me? Oh. <laughs> yeah! Or me? Oh, that's nice. Yeah! I don't like that. But I like that. <laughs> What'd you do last weekend when we were gone? Anything you want to tell me about? Uh, not that I want to tell you about. Where is everyone? Blades? Zabu? <laughs> Clara? Anyone? I gave you a chance to tell me yourself. Just remember that. Oh, how cute. Wait a sec. Ugh, nuts! People tend to disappear on me. One time I came home and my roommate had just moved out, no notice or anything. She also stole all my jewelry and the community futon, so maybe I wasn't the only problem there. Anyway, that was not a good start. Any of that guild leadering I was trying to do. Without the two hammers of the guild, Tink and Vork there? What is this? Ugh. Everything fell apart and I just sat there alone, organizing my character's outfits for two hours straight. I've never even done that with my own closet. It was a really comfortable futon. God, she sucked! Oof. Ow. What? No! Don't go to a hotel! I mean, who's gonna take the kids to get vaccinations? <laughs> Claire, I have put up with a lot, but this is the last straw. Everything was above the chin, Scout's honor. You kissed another man. I was really drunk, and he had touched Chuck Norris. Okay, how can we work through this and keep our marriage intact and stuff? We need to spend more time together. Can you do that for me? For us? I can do that. It means cutting back on your game. Is that really what that means? Hey, neighbor! <laughs> Got any Phrygian spore dust I can borrow? <laughs> Get it? Because neighbors usually ask for sugar. Sabu, why are you in my house again? Oh, well, I guess Vork went on vacation or something because all the doors were locked and I couldn't get in. Um, but I'm staying next door at Riley's. I escaped for a little gaming break. <laughs> uh, that vixen is insatiable. Oh, awesome to hear. Now I have more people to avoid in the hallway. <sighs> Hope this isn't awkward for you or anything. You know, me being right down the hall, cavorting 24-7. In a course. No, no, it's great. You moved on. So incredibly quick. Good, good. Because, you know, she's nothing like you at all. I mean, she's tall, confident, clean. Just, you know, she's super aggressive. You know, nothing like the usual anime porn I download. I need to find a way to get Tink back in the guild. Oh, well, I can get you the chat channel info for the rival guild. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, okay, I'll just log on, no invitation, and confront her. <laughs> oh, anxiety attack. Oh. Codex? 
Work? I finally found an open Wi-Fi connection. Frustrating how untrusting people are in this world. Well, you're stealing the access they pay for. I don't see your point. Sir, are you still there? Codex, one moment. I'm still powdering my order. We have been sitting there for like 15 minutes. Well, those are the consequences of offering too many combo options. Fork, I'm going to try to contact Tank by logging in that other guild's chat channel. What should I say to her to make her come back? One second. Question. Were a colleague to depart the Mr. Chicken Stuff Jr. and friends with bad feelings towards the organization, how would you persuade them to come back? Pull forward. Codex, pull forward. Pull forward? What does that mean? I have no idea. My current social encounter with a minimum wage employee is not proving to be particularly edifying. Sir! I'll have 75 straws and 22 ketchup packets! Happy? My Wi-Fi is being cut off. I'll be online again soon. No, but Vork, I need help. What should I pull forward? And I'm IMing you the rival chat info now. <laughs> Bloop. Okay, I'm just gonna dive in and be polite. That should work. Why do I feel anxious, like I'm going to a party where I don't know anyone? Because you're going to a chat channel where you don't know anyone. Oh, yeah. Metasocial anxiety. That's... sad. What's the beef, Fox? I just cree healed the motherfucker out, you 7K! Zow! I'm so hard right now! Well, soften it up, because it doesn't matter. We just wiped. Again. I want to know what the fuck just happened. I, I swear, it's like you guys are just sitting there staring at a wall or some shit. Nick? Please translate this to Quan. Your aggro sucks balls. Yeah, 제가 너 실력하는 그뭐 공격하는 실력이 별로 반갑지가 않다 그러는데 너보고 야 불알 빨아 먹어. 지랄한다고 자빠졌네. 우리가 왜 넘어 원인데? 내가 넘어 원이니까 짜식아. God, I hate you guys. There isn't a natural disaster big enough to kill all the people I hate, including all of you. Um, excuse me. Oh, who the fuck is that? Calm down, Bruiser. Some cockhead just wandered into our chat channel. Um, hi, I am Codex, temporary leader of the Knights of Good Guild. I'm sorry. Hey, fuck what said what? <laughs> Don't say what. <laughs> that name just made my balls fall off. I apologize for that. I'm looking for our guild member, Tinkerbala. Is she here? Well, the only people here are members of our guild because this is our chat channel. Ergo, what the fuck are you doing here? She went off with you at the GameStop. Oh, you were with the bald nutsack who pushed me around. I'm Venom. I'm the one who can't walk. Uh, he, he didn't really push you. <laughs> no, he didn't. She fucked with you and we won. The end. How can you say that like it's okay? The question isn't who will let me. It is who will stop me. Ayn Rand. I, I just want to talk to Tink. Seems like she don't want to talk to you. She's in the channel listening like a dumb mute. Tink? Oh my god. What? Hey, hey, it's good to, um, you want to come back to our guild channel and talk? Fat chance. This is my new guild now. They're just my style. Your friends moved up in the world. See, we're a more elite level of player. Yeah. So, you know, be happy for her and hit the road. Well, Tink, I, I, we really didn't get a chance to talk about your problems in the guild. Maybe if we... I'm through with you guys. I'm in this guild now. Move on. Your diplomacy just got smeared a shit mustache, sport. Kick her off. We need to down this boss or I'll set fire to my apartment and roast to death in this chair. Do something. Um, but... Hey, don't worry about Tink. You won't forget about her. She's with the Axis of Anarchy now, and nobody fucks with members of our guild and gets away with it. See you, Kay. Thanks, bye, fuck. <sighs> wow, they certainly share Tink's love of F-bombs. I guess Tink's really not coming back. OMG, this is not happening. Blades? What's wrong? My secret's out! Somehow my Finn Smolder's modeling pictures went public. Check out finsmolders.com. <laughs> Whoa. This website's awesome. They even wildcatted a few of your photos. I can't has Euro trash. <laughs> Classic. Contact admin at accessofanarchy.com. That other guild did this. Yeah, and they sent a link to the website to my entire high school email list. Then they started passing out my face on a stick as a joke. Hundreds of them all over campus. I'm ruined. Dana, stop it! Mom! Stupid asses of anarchy. Taking revenge outside the game like that? What a skinky reality show move. Fine. Tink is moving on. The Knights of Good are moving on. I just posted a call for video submissions for new guild members on the official forums. I know there are plenty of people just waiting to... Align their guild aspirations and playstyles with our own unique needs. 
I can't wait to be the one picking someone rather than someone picking me. This way, there's no way I can be rejected. <laughs> I'm an ego half empty kind of girl. Oh. Hello, Codex. I am Lord Bolio, and this is my formal application to take part of your guild. I saw your guild invitation. Very interesting. My name is Doom and Gloom, but most guys just call me DG, and I'm looking to expand my horizons with the new guild. My name is Strider, S-T-R, umlaut Y, D, umlaut E, capital R. We're conjoined twins. We're not noobs. I'm a fantastic team player, and I have a lust for blood! Questing is one of my favorite things. I am a wizard. I wake up in the morning and say, where am I going to quest today? <laughs> I would kill to be part of your guild. Literally. My RL job is teaching high school trigonometry. Boring. Are you ready to raid? I said, are you ready to raid? I, for one, am not a violent person, but I am. <laughs> All right, this is Lord Bolio signing off. See you soon. Please pick us. Yeah, that was a buffet of humanity I wish I'd never had to sample. Um, come on. A few of those applications look... okay. The only opinion I will voice is that I would not trust any of them with a gun in the event of a domestic insurgence. That's your measure of a guild member? Really? You barely passed. What's wrong with the guy who talked poetry? Is he a senator or something? One of these people has to do. We can't experience all the new expansion content without a full party. I want to play! Me too! Creepy whisper. I'm in the closet hiding from my husband because we're supposed to be spending time together. But I don't know how to interact with him without a screen involved. Let's just find Tink and game. It's not gonna happen. She's not coming back. Moving on. I don't mean to criticize. Then don't. If you are not taking back Guild Leader, then don't say anything at all. Say something so that I can infer you're taking back this job now, please. No. In fact, I'm about to log off. I can't conduct my internet business comfortably when I'm using a Wi-Fi access point named Scuzz Bucket Lick My Pony Butt. Scuzz Bucket Lick My Pony Butt? <laughs> That's the first time I've laughed all day. Dina! Dina! Gotta hate you! Hey, ex-girlfriend. I need some quick advice. When you're using handcuffs while fooling around, <laughs> right, um, you're not supposed to leave the person tied up outside all night. Pretty sure that's not cool sex to get. Um, other than some racy vampire literature I've read, no? Good, okay. Zabu, if Riley's making you do things that make you uncomfortable... No, no, uh, not at all. She's, I mean, she's so pretty, and she makes my genitals feel really warm and nice, while the rest of my body screams in absolute pain. Uh, conundrum. <laughs> Definitely TMI. <clears throat> what are we gonna do, guys? We have to find another player. I am willing to take anyone at this point. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just got the bestest idea! I'll be right back! Anyone within reason. Not that Lord Bolio guy. You're right, <laughs> fops are creepy. Totes. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, meet your new guildmate! You want me to game with you? Yeah, you said you wanted to do more stuff together. Well, yeah, I was actually thinking, you know, salsa dancing or couples therapy. Oh, this is my husband George, but his avatar name is gonna be Mr. Wiggly. Clara! Oh, they won't know that's my name for it. Unless I hold open the mic like that. Oh, please. Uh, hi. Clara's told me nothing about you. But I look forward to doing whatever it is you do together. Uh, how much experience do you have gaming there, Wiggly? Uh, I played Pong as a kid. This is in color, I see. What's Pong? Uh, thanks, Wiggly, but we definitely need someone way more savvy. I leave you alone for one second and you run away from the stable? Bad horse! Sweetie can Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. Ah! Uh. So I just came over to help Codex with some guild business, you know? What business? Oh. Um, that's my bed. So watch her leave. <laughs> yeah, see, um, we actually lost Tink, so we're down a player. And, uh, we... we... You are? Huh? Uh. Want me to play with you, Stallion? Oh. <laughs> Um, okay, that sounds great, Mr. Wiggly. Welcome to the Knights of Good. <clears throat> Sorry, we just filled the space. Uh, awkward. I am not going to be defensive about my choice for the new guild member. 
That sounded really defensive. Fine, I admit it. I didn't want Riley in the guild. I don't care if she plays games and would be an awesome addition skill-wise. There are just some people I don't want to interact with. A lot of those people happen to be taller, prettier, and more charismatic than me. But in this instance, I feel like I made the best decision for the guild. And I'm going to watch this back a few times to convince myself of that. Yeah. Wiggly, you don't run away from the bad guys, you shoot them. But it hurts when they hit me. I push to talk, uh, but they keep hitting me. Uh, Clara, how does this microphone thing work? O. M. G. Mr. Wiggly! Concentrate DPS! I don't know what that means, Spork. Vork! Sorry. I... Claire, I can't get my person thingy to move. You're doing great, honey. Wiggly, wrong way. No, no, don't go in the Minotaur. No, 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 no. No, no, ah, he's pulled. And now we're dead. Joy. Zabu, report. My lady calls. Hopefully she's got something in store for me that's less torturous than this. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, everyone else, take a few breaths. Clara, we need to have a little guild meeting sans Wiggly. Oh, he's not Spanish. Without him. Oh, okay. Okay. Honey, I printed you out some game guides. How about you go have a look-see? I love you. I love you too. This game has homework? Man, I should have kissed that stunt guy months ago. This is great. Claire, you're wed to an incompetent. Mr. Wiggly needs to be ejected from the guild. He should never have been admitted in the first place. Vork, you are entitled to your opinion, but until you're gilded or again, I say who's in and who's out. Please. Well, hello. I would like us all to discuss how we can help Mr. Wiggly be, um, not so utterly awful. Well, he didn't accidentally turn off his laptop this time. That's an improvement. Oh, playing with a computer actually on. Bid step. Look, if we don't play together, then I don't play at all, remember? So there's your choice, buckos. No, 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 no. We can't be down two players. He stays. For now. Hi, I'm applying to be a part of the Knights of the Good, where everything's rainbows and applesauce and sunshine. Oh, you guys have a sharing rule, right? Oh, I would love to be a member, except that I wouldn't. Who is this? Valkyrie from the Axis of Anarchy. Did you see that little website I made for your little guildy? Uh, I guess I'm most proud of the typography. I thought a font with serifs would really just like, you know, rub it in. What you guys did to Blades was totally low. We don't want to have anything to do with you. Yeah, you had your revenge and now I'm bored. Goodbye. You'll be needing more than a group hug when the next twist of the knife turns bladesy wadesy and then <clears throat> Oh, hello, sir. Um, I'm on with the client, actually, yeah. Uh, her damas came in and, well, it showed up in coral instead of lavender like she asked, so, you know. <laughs> Drama. <laughs> what? Surfing the internet? No, of course I'm not. There's a strict rule in the office. And I'm really happy you implemented it because I think we all need to focus on... You guys are stupid. Well, that sounded serious, that damask thing. Do you think they're gonna try something else? As an individual who is not a leader, I have no opinion on the matter. They can't force me any lower on the high school totem pole. A cover band called Smulders played with the face on a stitch during lunch today. I'm never going to get a date. Ever. Simon, get in here! And my mom's blowing a gasket. BRB. Okay, Zabu was supposed to get Tink's info. It couldn't hurt to try to track her down. See if she can stop this. Going AFK. Yes. Thank you for obtaining the Harvest Elementary Wi-Fi key. Here's a small exciting toy. Now leave. Is that a video game in your car? Yes, it is. Do you like video games? Yeah. Can I play? No. The cerebral cortex is underdeveloped for humans before puberty. Hey, that's my ride. How did I provoke such an attack? Because you're ugly and you use stupid long words. Uh, you made some good points. I see the potential for male pattern baldness on your scalp, something I experienced myself at your age. Do you find it affects your leadership skills? I'm bald? Alvin, who are you talking to? Why do you have all this equipment in your van? Are you taping the children? Miss Wagner, he sent them under cortex and balding. It only gets worse. Good luck with the chicks. It's open. Oh, hi. <laughs> you looking for Wade? Oh, God, no. Is he here? He's up in Vancouver roundhousing Lorenzo Lamas. I will never hear the end of it. Good. I was hoping to... Never see him again. Um, I just need to ask Zabu something. He's out. In case you didn't get it, 
This bitch stare. That's cool. Okay. So I I'm, I just gotta go. <laughs> you know. I mean, I've just. Whoa. Oh, hey, okay, I got it. Play me. What? Um, no, no. I I've. I've I got guild littering to do, so. Not good enough for the guild, not good enough to hang out with? Newsflash, I'm cooler than you. The rejection letter goes the other way, nerdlet. Reje reject, no, no, wait, I didn't reject you. I just, you know, filled the spot, gosh. Like I wanted to play with you little RPG fairies anyway. When I game, it's sit, shoot, kill. Let's go. I... Oh. Unless these big, bad buttons are too scary. Well, if you're gonna be snarky about it, I think I could spare a minute. If you puke on my controller, I will kick you in the head with my steel-toed boot. You ask Zabu if you think I'm kidding. That boy bruises like a peach. You know, if you're the first girl Zabu's ever been with, you might want to be a little gentle with him. I mean, he's a really, oh, good. Who would program a game like that? I would never run that fast down a hallway in real life. Here. I know all the pressure points for pain and pleasure. Uh, it feels better, actually. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You have such soft skin. Dungeon prisoner pale. Thanks. Hold on! Zabu! Oh, thank you. <laughs> he was oh. out. Guess he woke up. Ah, fresh air, thank you. I will not forget to make you breakfast again, that's for sure. What is going on here? I think it's fairly obvious. He forgot to make me breakfast, so I knocked him out and tied him up. Now it won't happen again. I am a fast learner. Mm -hmm. Codex, Blades just texted me, and someone planted something in his locker. I mean, the cops are at his doorstep. He can go to juvie. The anarchists strike again. Someone planted five pairs of nunchucks, a pink pack of ladies' razors, and a kitchen blowtorch. You know the ones you use for creme brulee? And Blades a school locker. They have a zero tolerance policy for weapons, even lame ones, so Blades could be in big trouble. And that tool face from the asses of anarchy had to log on and rub it in. A boy named Valkyrie? He's a guy who plays a girl's character. I don't know why I said that like it was an insult. Anyway, as guild leader, I have to help out my guildie, who's in high school. Man, I'm so old now. And my friends saw a hot chick wheeling through the hallways. So they totally framed me. Think they'd use a more inconspicuous mole. The attractive women in wheelchairs have life immunity. What a butt waffle move. We gotta get him to stop this. Uh, everyone, what are these experience points I keep hearing you talk about? They're what you use to level your character weekly. I think we need to contact this rival Level? guild and... Is that where you get in the ocean and swim around a lot? Cause I uh, did that for like two hours last night to build up muscle. There is so much fail in that sentence, I can hardly begin. Fail? Honey, can you go do 100 push-ups for me? I just love it when you have firm abs. <laughs> okay. Okay, if we're gonna make fun of my husband, let's do it behind his back. Clara, he's not getting better. But I made him macros, and as soon as I can get him to understand what that means, he'll be on autopilot. Warning! If we continue to play with him, we have to accept that our median level of skill will nosedive. We will morph into, dare I say it, casuals. No, I won't do it. I'll quit first. I'm ruined in life. I cannot be ruined in game. Shut up! You're killing me! I want things to feel like they were before! Blades, turn the caps off. I have an idea. Are you up for a trade? No, I told you, as a hunter, you have to stay far back to attack. Oh, I'm a hunter. Cool. Is he helping you? Are you finished? I'm ready to get online now. Oh, sweetie, could you just give us a few? Blades has given me a few tricks to add to the old arsenal. Oh, Widley, you don't have an arsenal. You're in a pit of noob and you can't get out. You guys are so cute! <sighs> Oh my god, you're fighting with a spoon? Okay, seriously. This is gonna take forever. You're like the dork squad, right? 25 bucks an hour? Oh, that's right, cash. Are you guys done yet? Shut it. This is going to take hours. Hours. And hours. Just do your scales, tap your foot to the beat. Got it. I have guild business to attend to. 
Ding dong. Fresh meat. We got a strange fucking chat again? Yeah. Go to Dago there. Quan requested the strange fuck please leave. Hi, this is Codex from the Knights of Good. You guys can't keep attacking blades like this. Can't. In anarchy speak, can't translates as should. Nay, must. He could go to jail. We don't do anything half-assed. We anarchists use both cheeks. Venom arranged to substitute teach at his school. Well, sit back and admire the skill level. Venom's a teacher? Art. I like to give kids an outlet for their hate and misery. Tink, are you seriously okay with this? She's not here. And I'd rather take a bath with a toaster than listen to this. Oh no, my boot slipped. Oh, rude. They blocked me? Oh, God, out of tune, horrible. Constructive criticism? Uh, put your finger in the middle of the fret. Hey, hey, it's Blades' sister. You're my face friend. Who isn't? Uh, did you get any information on Tink? Yes, yes, I have her dorm address. <laughs> and I also found out that she's pre-med, which is, quite frankly, scary. I guess I'll try to contact her, see if we can stop some of this stuff. <laughs> yeah. What is around your neck? Oh, oh this, yes. Uh, this was given to me by Riley. <laughs> Love token. Is that a dog collar? No, no, it's a, it's a human collar. Uh, has my name and contact information in case I get lost. Anyway, uh, Riley likes you, and, uh, would like to get to know you better, you know, with me, uh, in more non-traditional ways. <laughs> in what? You know, in activities that are not so PG-rated. I don't understand. He's asking you for three-way. Yes, that's correct. The little one gets it. <laughs> Play! Sabu, look, I don't think this relationship with Riley is healthy. Uh, I get what's going on here. <laughs> yeah, you're jealous. <laughs> Meowed. No, that is completely the wrong conclusion you should have drawn from that. Well, what am I supposed to think? All that lashing out and that using of a lash? By Riley, I guess I guess she needs something more from me. You know, more romance, more feelings. Come on, Zabu, gotta do something good! No, that, that, no, oh. That's not gonna end well. God, okay, I, I'm not involved, I'm not involved, no, oh. Why am I in charge here? Where is Vork? This is the only way I can get four bars. Quattro barus. Diga me. Quando you stead, me mira que you stead. Uh, pienza primero. Tres adjectivos de la tapa de su cabeza. Idiota, quítate de mi sacate. Keeping your nose clean, delinquent. Officer, what are you doing here? Greetings from the Axis of Anarchy. I just banged your mom. <laughs> I wonder why Blades' mom had this weird smile on her face when she picked up Dina. This situation is untenable. Untenable. I've never used that word before. How about scary, disturbing, and borderline illegal? It's crazy. Who would go to these links to besmirch someone over a game? Besmirch? That, that, that's another stupid word. I am paying to play this game, and it has become my full-time stress-filled job. It, it's just discombobulating, disturbing, whatever. <sighs> Blades, calm down and explain it slowly. The big dude from the rival guild banged my mom. I can't explain it any better. I'm traumatized. Well, maybe he was bluffing. Can you prove it? It's my mom. Just thinking about proving it traumatized me again. Blades, we've all seen our moms naked in many, many positions. No, we haven't. No, not really. Forget I said anything. You know, we should call the police or something. This is getting crazy sauced. No, the dude is a cop. He was in full uniform and everything. Ooh, cop uniform? Yummy. Your mom must have been an easy drop. Clara? Sorry, Gildies, but I must depart. I'm off to deepen my relationship and form a lasting bond. <laughs> the lady swagged. Blades, I'm sending an email to their admin account asking the other guild leader to meet in a private channel. Now, we're gonna settle this like adults or something. And this is a perfect time for Vork to take over. Not yet, but you'll be pleased to know I'm making personal progress. While cruising at 15 miles per hour through affluent neighborhoods. I've stumbled upon this. 
the perfect Wi-Fi connection. Is there a problem here? You are in my driveway. Your Wi-Fi is unfortunately sporadic past the curb. Not to mention today is street cleaning. I don't know you. Herman Holden, a.k.a. Vork. I'm a seeker of knowledge of myself. The name of your Wi-Fi connection, Enlightenment, drew me here. You are playing a video game in your car. I'm soul searching, but I do have gaming obligations. Tell me, is there an innate and unavoidable resentment of women against men in an authority position? When you look at me, how intense is your penis envy? On a scale of one to 10. Are you seriously sitting in my driveway, using my internet, asking me about penis? Exactly. No, sir. I'm calling the police. So much for enlightenment. I'll be online later, Gildies. Did someone request a private chat? All you need is confidence and ignorance. Then success is sure. Mark Twain. Hi, hi. I was hoping the two of us meeting could help diffuse the situation between our guilds. Sure you did. Okay, point one, Blades is a kid, not just an anonymous name on your computer screen. Oh, I know. Bruiser banged his mom. That's about as unanonymous as you can get. I was hoping we could resolve this in a civilized manner. Hey, I live by my own rules. I'm the kind of guy who doesn't pay attention when the gas tank tells me to fill it. I fill it when I fucking well please. If everyone treated each other like that, no one would be safe anywhere. People would be calling roadside assistance all the time. It would be chaos. Life is PVP. In game and out. PVP means player versus player. I know what PVP is. You guys have gone above and beyond getting revenge. Even Tink would agree with that. Well, Tink isn't here. Is she? Because you didn't invite her. Because you wanted to see me. Alone. Wait, what? All right, don't admit it. Or acknowledge it. Maybe you're not even aware of it. Because your sexuality scares you. Embrace the fear. Okay, sexuality does not scare me. I am very adequate in that area, and it's just, oh, I see what you're doing with your brainiac steamrolling. You're trying to throw me off track. Well, I have news for you, Highlander. My brain's as good as yours is. I just don't use it to bully people or quote things. Oh, you think we're equals? Okay. Guild leader, you just ordered up the full axis of anarchy treatment. I want you to remember this moment. Because you just asked for something that you definitely cannot handle. Can I just call a do-over? Hello? Tink, what are you doing here? Do you know my real name? You know, the medical school is always looking for cadavers. Oh, calm down, Tink. I need to talk to you about your new guild. I risk a lot coming out here. Out into the sun? Any second I could start to burn. Is Blade still all boohoo about that Finn Smolder site? You know, no one made him pose like a D-bag. Do you know what else they're doing to him? Planting weapons on him? Seducing his mom? <sighs> Whatever. They say play, they run with it. No, this isn't a game. They're ruining his life. He ruined my life. The character he destroyed was closer to me than any of you, Gil Lemos. Well, the only reason you had fun with that character at all is because we were a guild and we play together. Even Blades was part of that. I totally just saw a freckle pop up on your face. Real time. Okay, tell the anarchists to back off. I can't promise... I can't promise we won't fight back. What are the Knights of Good gonna do with you as a leader? Call them over for s'mores? What's wrong with s'mores? Two freckles just grew together. They're forming a pod. Mm. Run. <sighs> Lovely day to play outside. Yes, my love. I wanted us to have a very special outing, you know, to rekindle the romance and to recharge our health meters, or my health meter. You haven't seen it yet because we've been copulating so much, but I'm a man of great romance in my heart, and I brought this token of my affection to present. This is my commemorative gaming ring. It has a cave troll engraved on it, and I want you to wear it as a symbol of our blossoming love. That's cool. <laughs> Here, let me kiss. <laughs> what the fuzzballs? No kiss. Give me the ring. 
Oh. I'll give you a 45 second head start. For what? <laughs> hmm. Running a Z, sweetie! That wasn't 45 seconds! Hi, my name is Codex. As the temporary guild leader for the Knights of Good Guild, I am posting this call to arms against another gaming guild, the Axis of Anarchy. And before you comment, yes, I'm a girl, and yes, I play the game. Where was I? Okay. <clears throat> Despite our attempts to make peace, this other said guild has continued to attack one of our members out of game in a skeevy fashion. I appeal to the community to take a stance against harassment and injustice and join us in asking the Axis of Anarchy to stop messing with us like jerks. Thank you for helping us make our world a better place to game. <sighs> Dead again? No! This is insane! We can't do anything in game anymore. Now that the Axis of Anarchy has put a bounty on our head, no. We cannot. I thought confronting them was the right thing to do. <laughs> yeah, broadcasting to everyone in the game that we're share bears? If I saw that video, I'd be danking me too. He's right, you know. I just don't understand how they're finding us in the game so easily. People keep messaging me, offering to help us out, but uh, when I tell them where we are, nobody shows up. Who's messaging you? Whittley. Where did you get all that badass armor? You didn't have that when I was showing you the game ropes. Some guy and his girlfriend hooked me up. Hooked you up in exchange for what? Knowing me? A real nice Korean couple. I bet it's that anarchist. A mole. Classic warfare technique. Oh my god, Wiggly. You've been spying on us for the other team. Hey, watch it. My husband may play like Helen Keller, but he's not two-faced. Yeah. He's just admitted to giving out our location in the game to everyone, and now he's tricked out in bribes. I was leading on my own. Dude, that's not a verb. Okay, that's it. You are out. What? Finally. I'm sorry, Clara, but I've got to stand for something as guild leader. Mr. Wiggly, you are no longer a knight of good. Now listen here. I am too old to get kicked out of anything. Claire and I are leaving. Yeah. Wait, what? You heard me. I did this so we could spend more time together. You can't keep playing by yourself if I'm not welcome. Clara, don't leave. I... I have to. Take that, you dungeoneering bozos. Clara is ixnay on your ill game nanny more. Wait, wait, wait. That could have been handled better. Shut up, Fork. You know what? You dumped all of this in my lap, and, and, and all you've been doing is backseat leadering the whole time. I am sick of it. You're just a poo face. Codex. You of all people turning on me as well? Do I truly have the power to snap your gentle spirit? I must be a monster. Need. Alone. Now. Oh, God. Oh, this. Great. Clara's gone. Fork's gone. Guess I'll hit the road. Pat a backpack. Street kids always look like they're having fun. Like it's an apocalypse or something. They've done it. They've destroyed us. We've got nothing left. A small force is but booty for one more powerful. Sun Tzu, the art of war. Why is everyone quoting stuff? Wait. The art of war? Well, I do dioramas of civil war battles as a hobby. You see, you went on the offensive, but were unable to withstand the provoked onslaught. Okay, I'm just gonna go with this. What should I do? Well, with your forces weakened, you should go after their weakest link. Weakest link. Okay, okay. So I tried Tink and the other guild leader. That didn't work. Uh, the one guy's a cop. The other one doesn't speak English. Uh, the wheelchair girl's just mean. So, um, the Damask guy. What's Damask? Ha! Huh. See, you don't know everything. Shut up. Sorry. You ever get the feeling that people just don't like you? Knowing that, how can I ever be guild leader again? Leading isn't about being liked. What do you think about me? On first sight, I kind of hated you, but I'll take money from anyone. I'm not paying you anything. Then I really hate you. Embrace the hatred. Give me a hot dog. Might be time to go home. Let's do it. Thanks for coming. We're the last one standing. No worries. My every waking moment is a humiliation. This assault will not go unanswered. What are you talking about? Uh, uh, this situation. 
Okay, he's all tapped. Go, go, judo roll, judo roll. What? Oh, you've been disarmed, sir. What are you guys doing here? How did you find me? You guys gotta get out before my boss sees you. You are so uncoordinated. Oh, the Rathweed Plains. I know that area well. Farming for Heatherwood, are we? Interesting workplace assignment. If your guild doesn't stop harassing blades, we're gonna tell your boss how much you like playing games at work. Oh, 913 hours logged on this IP address. Owned. No, please, please, I cannot lose this job. How am I supposed to stop the rest of my guild from messing with you guys? I'm not their keeper. I don't know. How are you gonna stop from screaming when I take these braces of the Unrek tribe off of no, your they, character? No, please. No, please don't. No, no, no. Hold them over the trash no, they bin. They don't. No, that doesn't go there. Hold them down, Codex. No, you wouldn't. And then let go. And, and then click yes when prompt to delete them! No! no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep them down, Codex. Close the Iron Maiden. Okay. What's the next move for the anarchists? I, oh, pretty pauldrons of the double dual dragons going poof. Bye bye! <laughs> oh, those pauldrons had adamantium sockets. Well, just tell us something. We'll stop. Your leggings will be safe. Oh, no, they won't. Delete! There goes your five piece set bonus there, buddy. Who's helpless now? <laughs> Lock me into a closet. I'll show you. Oh, <laughs> Dude, Zabu, stop! Hey, oh, you're being crazy! Huh? I'm not puny. I'm well proportioned for a man of my size. What? <laughs> okay. He's basically freaking both of us out now, so tell me what I can do to stop this. Nothing. We'll never stop. At our next LAN party, we're gonna make a list of all the things we're gonna do to the rest of you, okay, in your real life. It's out of my control. When is the LAN party? Hmm. Where? Hmm. What is Damask? Hmm. Delete, no. delete, delete. <sighs> Tomorrow, Charlie's Internet Cafe. Two o'clock, back room. And damask is a reversible fabric. It's sewn with one warp yarn and one weft yarn. And it was invented in the Byzantine era. Oh, it's really interesting. And delete! No! Oh! Not my long sword. Oh. You tiny monster. He's naked. You killed his outfit. Sorry there, fabric boy. Why don't you gather up the rest of your peeps and tell them that we're coming for you. I mean, your, your breath is hot. You should go with them. Oh, okay. What happened back there? I'm pretty sure there's a UN mandate against it. How could you? I don't know. I don't know what came over me, you know? It was just, it was just his pain and, and all that power. It was, it was intoxicating. <sighs> What's happened to me? Uh, no! And then there were none. You're my ride, actually, so... It's official. I broke the Knights of Good. Claire and Tink quit. Stupid Vork went AWOL. Blades is going on the run, somehow. And, um, Zabu digitally waterboarded someone. It's over. What am I gonna do? I don't wanna have to meet new people. New people means awkwardness and flailing around for common topics. An invitation to coffee, even though both of you know you're never gonna follow through, ever. Why did this have to happen? I... I like the people I had before. Hello? Anybody? Codex. Ah! Fork! You made me guild leader and I ruined everything, you jerk! I understand your hostility more than you can imagine. In the past few days, I've made discoveries about myself, Codex. More precisely, $13 worth of gas in discoveries. What did you discover, dare I ask? People don't like me. I enlisted repugnance and resentment in humans from all walks of life. I believe one person compared talking with me to, quote, shaving my privates with a dull, rusted cheese grater, end quote. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. I now know why I am, in fact, a great leader. Because people hate you? Bingo. I can wield that unification like a glove. Act as a benevolent overlord, so to speak. Henceforth, I have ended my journey. And I've arrived to take back Guild Leader. Yes! Well, it's a little late. The Anarchists are meeting today. They're having a LAN party, and they're gonna plan how to destroy all of us out of game. There's no reason to put us back together, because they'll just break us again. Then we'll settle this in a Napoleonic way. Two armies face to face. The guerrilla warfare must stop. We will not be defeated. Evil must be toppled. We have the power! This is a techno song, right? <laughs> Marshal your weapons. Let's rally the troops! Uh, okay, I'll just clean that up later. 
Dudes, I can't help you. Can't be trusted. The impish and adorable Zabu you knew is no longer. What are you playing? Is that Sir Lupalot? That game is for four-year-olds. I thought it would cleanse my soul. There's so many pastels and penguins. It makes my inner demons want to make those happy animals die! 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 Zabu, stop wallowing. The guild needs you. Lies! The guild doesn't need a broken warlock. You're not broken. Riley did this to you. I told you she was no good for you. Riley's the only woman that ever loved me back. We're like Cloven or whatever. You didn't want me. Stop trying to break us up. I am not trying to break you up. That is just ridiculous. Shut up, Lubalot. Oh, Absolutely so annoying. <laughs> Zabu, if you choose not to accompany us, then we must move on without you. And you'll be dead to me as a human being. And were I in a situation where I would have to choose between saving you or a dog who I have never met before from drowning, then I would do my best to drown you myself in order to save this strange, unfamiliar dog who I would not even care to keep after rescuing, but would afterwards place in a non-abusive foster home. Good day! All right, all right. I'll help you, okay? Just remember that Zabu is no longer I'm half the player I used to be. So just call me Zab or Boo. Yeah, that's cool. Just, just call me Boo. Just come on. No. Honey, you okay? I love spending time with my family. This is so much better than gaming. Okay, guys, let's uh, let's go make mommy a snack. Come on, oh, to the kitchen. I march, love march. snacking with my family. This is so much better than gaming. What are you guys doing here? Go away before Wiggly sees you. Clara, you're a dog, uh, like a drowning dog. I'm gonna drown you. I'm gonna kill you, and you're gonna learn to. How does this go? What, Clara? I've taken over the guild leadership again. The Knights of Good is my intellectual property. I've trademarked a logo and hope to turn it into a legitimate business someday. Possibly a delicious breakfast cereal. Oh, marshmallow zabus. Ah, oh, cool. Can I be cinnamon flavored? That has nothing to do with anything. Clara, we need you. We're going to Charlie's Internet Cafe and we're going to confront the Axis of Anarchy. We're going to save the guild. I can't go. I've hung up my maid robe. I'm a housewife now, you know, for my marriage and stuff. I absolutely, totally can't go. But Clara. Okay. <laughs> Gabby! Go hide, and when Daddy gets really worried and comes and finds you, give him this. You know, I made the effort to resist. That's all that counts, right? <laughs> nice outfit. Yeah, nice outfit, man. I was about to go undercover at a polo club in Argentina. It's an old internet buddy. Blunderbuss. What? Oh, you know, in-game gun, low level, hunter weapon, looks like a shotgun, shotgun. <laughs> Give up the seat. I called it. Dead. Fine. Let's do this. Man, it felt good to be back together again. I think being in a guild satisfies one of my secret wishes. To be in a gang. I mean, I know they do bad things, things associated with gang-like activity, but um, it's kind of cool to have that exclusive connection with other people. We can invent secret handshakes, wear matching outfits, meeting for brunch at the hideout. <laughs> that sounds more like a book club. Upshot is, those dudes were going down. Well, well, well. If it isn't the Knights of Goob. You are. The insurgency must stop. We battle to end this, here and now. Gildo a Gildo. Don't help. Okay. A challenge. We accept terms. Hey, 
That's our menu. I've formulated a simple system of 24 elimination rounds. Initial pairings will be determined by using U.S. Census data from the 1990s. It should take about six hours. Screw that. Immediate play. Battle Royale. Fine. But winner, declared winner. Well, that's fucking obvious. If someone from our guild wins, you guys have to leave us alone forever. And when we win? The guild will cease operations. The Knights of Good will be but a noble blip in gaming existence. And I'll return to playing Chinese checkers with various neighborhood children. Deal. Set it up. Absolutely. <laughs> Gildy's a moment. I don't know what's about to transpire, but I do want to prepare you for this. Hearts may be broken. Avatars will surely die. Yeah, FYI, that dude in the tracksuit, Quan, I looked him up. He's a champion StarCraft player. He makes millions playing in Korea. <laughs> Ringered. He's got a hand masseuse. Those are the man's instruments. I could use a masseuse for my instrument. <gasps> Tink! We need a zinger! No, I miss her. Clara! Oh, Gabby's such a bad hider. Is this really your decision, choosing a game over our marriage? I can't believe you left without telling me. You wouldn't have wanted me to go, and I wanted to go. Why go through the motions? She's got a point, actually. <laughs> Can you give us a moment? I can't. <laughs> Want to make out to make up? Just so you know, I'll be playing my alt character, Artemis, since my main character has no equipment. I am really sorry about what happened. It got completely out of control, and we just... But Artemis? So you play two girl characters? Yes. Is there something wrong with that? No. I play two girl characters because I like girls. I like looking at girls. I'm a girl-loving guy. I like your shoes. They kicked me out. Where's your loyalty? Well, it's okay. They don't think you're a straight jacket anymore. You mean a turncoat? Yeah, that. Hey, Vork, Wiggly's in the clear, right? As recently reinstated guild leader, I'm willing to assume your nefarious activity wasn't deliberate, that you were just an idiot. How awesome is that? I'll be enjoying this. Finally meeting you on equal ground. Equal? Your dick could fit in my ear canal. Zing, shield that. I just want to say that I really admire people who overcome adversity. My aunt plays the piccolo without a pinky finger. If you talk to me again, I'll cut myself where I can't feel anything and bleed out all over the concrete. Gotcha. I can't stop crying. You're not crying. You're just shaking your bottom lip. All right, look, let's just get through this and I promise this will be the last time I'll game. It has to be, Clara, or otherwise your word means nothing. I cannot participate in a shell of a marriage. Oh, I love chocolate bunnies. You, how, how did that just happen? That sentence. Well, they're hollow when you eat them, duh. Come on, I got a game. Your tap water, sir. Dilmuri 아저씨한테 몸으로 땀바닥을 싹싹 긁어낸다고 전해줘. 난 모든 게 Number one, yeah. Okay. Juan says that. None. Don't build your bed. Just say yo. Don't be chill. Junior Han. She got it. But do she yo? Nice view. Beauty that dies the soonest has the longest life. Birthday. I don't care. Three. Two. One. Begin. Sweet justice. Killing you will be the best part of my week. You've made it clear in every way. If I died, the world would be a better place. I doubt it. When I kick you and you take it, that's so fun. Why won't they let me be myself and play a disabled avatar? Redesigning medieval towns to accommodate the handicap would certainly impact the graphic aesthetics. For instance, ramps and dungeons would limit the rubble graphics. And oh! Oh, dodge! Oh, dead already? Blah, blah, blah. You're dead, Baldy. No, no, oh, no, sir. Oh, honey mustard, son of a nugget. That's some lame Tourette's, dude. <laughs> Remember we're supposed to be taking the kids to the park today? 
can't believe I'm sitting here watching you sling tornadoes at elves. God, nag, nag, nag. When did you become such a stick in the mud? Stick in the mud? Yeah. When was the last time we woke up in some strange hotel asking, where are we? What state are we in? What concert were we just at? Is that what you think I've become? Boring. Yeah. And while we're at it, let's talk about your cell phone holster. It's so dorky. The lady has a point. Thank you. Oh, you're so dodgy. I can never get close to you. Oh, this game is such a metaphor for life. Tink, I want you to know that whatever happens, we really did miss you. Why do you always have to be so nice? I'm stabbing you. God, I hate you sometimes. No, 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 no. What the fuck? Eat that, biceps. <laughs> Claire, I'm coming to you. Hold on, all right? Damn, it feels good to be Zabu again. Confident, crushing my opponents with class and justice. <laughs> I'm the George Clooney of RPGs. I'll show you I can take risks. Move over. I need to take that bubble again. Bubble just. No one uses those spells with your class. It's sheer idiocy. <laughs> sheer idiocy is my gaming specialty. My gosh, Gildy's Wiggly just took out the ringer guy. He's not a nubla anymore. He what? Anarchists waste that guy. Oops. Oh. It feels so good to die. Ah, <laughs> who's next? I got my dad back. <laughs> Someone forgot that I like an afternoon foot massage. Full season download. Riley. Damn! Suck it, loser. Well, cry or something! Come. Looks like it's two against one. Knights of good are toast. Codex! Awesome! You guys, who would have thunk? Codex is the last one standing! Wait a minute. What? You know when rabbits or squirrels or other prey-like animals are in danger and they freeze, but inside you know they're totally freaked out, ready to dart at any moment or the little hearts will self-implode? That's what I was feeling when I realized that I was the only one left in that fight. I mean, how could life let that happen to me? Please, life, don't do me any favors. I don't want to ever be the key to anything. <sighs> We've got Codex, yes we do. We've got Codex, smell our poo. I can do this, I can do this. Oh God, please don't make me do this. Do it, he's charging. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Zabu, my toes are still unsimulated. No, Riley. Look, you got me killed and now the guild's gonna lose. Thanks, Zabu. Oh, raising your voice to me. You just earned yourself a night locked in the clothes dryer. Been there, not doing it again. I'm gonna be a man now and do what I should have done a long time ago. Check my tweet. What? You're breaking up with me? Guys, make important life decisions later. Did you mean to run into the tip of my sword like that? Codex, a monkey could see you should have summoned a divine herald there. What are you doing? You're the monkey, Blades. Why they kept you in the guild is a mystery to the world. The only mystery here is titled The Case of the Asian Wallet Succubus. Inside voices for Codex! Or Oh, I can't believe you're making me quit after this. Why do you hate the game so much? I don't hate the game. I do take offense to you kissing another man. That. You dredge up the oldest things. When are you going to grow up? We have three children now. Why do I feel like sometimes it's four? Maybe because I'm pregnant. You're what? Everyone shut up! Oh my god, one hit point. No! She's flatlining. Hold on, Codex. Come on, Codex. Sid Sherman, what is your problem? Other than talking to my own face? Oh man, I've lost it. Thank goodness I don't have any pets to leave behind. You're moving me like a total spaz. Stop playing me like I'm you. I am you. Mm, you wish. Tell me, who am I? My very god self? I'm who you are in game, who you want to be. Confident, in charge, naturally wavy hair. <laughs> You're playing me like I'm Sid. Twitchy, self-conscious, with the occasional cycle link pimple. Hey, that has nothing to do with gaming. Just relax and be me for a minute. Reality is kicking your ass right now. Okay. Be Codex. I can do that, I guess. Oh, and don't count on this ever happening again. I kind of glossed over it, but you're pretty close to insanity right now. I'm back. Shield, heal, spam heal, shield. My hair is naturally wavy. Oh no, 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 no. No one breaks up with me. I do the breaking. Hearts, limbs, and not on Twitter. Yeah, well, I thought 140 characters was enough. 
Hashtag sweet burns. What the? Oh. Subscribed. I am owning this feeling. I am a holy goddess. You're a holy freak show. Okay, Blades, I'm gonna confidently lay this on the table. The only reason we're even here right now is because you and Tink were acting like total jerks. Well said, Codex. You. You should have done something when the guild started falling apart, but all you've been doing is whining and wandering around in your creepy ass van. I acknowledge your point. I apologize. Thank you. Blades, your turn. What? No way! She broke my heart. She made me get a job. If you like me so much, how could you destroy me? I'm a man of impulse. I don't think crap through. Blades, just do it! Blades! Okay, I'll bite. Sorry! Fine! I'm kind of sorry too, so let's move on. I'm glad we solved that. I, I hate, hate you! That is a cheat. Stop with the advice column bullshit and finish her off. I'm getting eaten away with dots over here. Taint Abala has her jaws flapping and her hand up her ass. Did you just call me a taint? <laughs> yeah, that's what we call you behind your back. Taint Abala. Mm. Taint Abala. I didn't think this was possible, but you guys are too touchy for me. Codex, take me down. What the fuck, Tink? Like you always say, it's anarchy. <sighs> <sighs> that was a hell of a long kiss. Tasted like chaos. Kick banning this twerp and moving on. Mm. Riley, Venom. Okay, all right. That did not emasculate me in one bit, ladies. Down, boy. I think the knights of good are good again. Nice job, Codex. Now strip a skin off his face. Crit, crit, tweak it, crit, boom. Are you skull fucking me right now? You must be skull fucking me right now because I can feel it right here in this eye socket. Oh my God, I did it. We won, we really won. Yeah, what's happening? I owned him. I'm sorry, but uh, no, you know what? I am not sorry. I am confident that you ate it. I assume your guild will honor the agreement that we agreed upon? Yes. Our guild has been tainted enough. Anarchists, game over. Everyone has to have a taint. It's anatomically required. So we rejoice in the presence of our taint. Tink, welcome back. Knights of Good, let's load up and head out. We have an expansion to play. Claire, are you serious? We're having another baby? Well, see, at first it was a game to see how big my boobs would get until you noticed. You know, soon I'll be playing out to here. <laughs> or not, because I'm quitting. I'm not going to make you quit. I just don't want it to be an excuse for you not to spend time with me. Well, we can still play together, and I'll get little laptops for the kids. Not gonna happen. Even though I was trying to destroy you by banging her, I really like your mom. Is it okay if I still date her? Get those charges dropped. Then I'll play it up a bit. I'll say how nice it is to have a father figure around or some crap like that. You know what, maybe we are kind of equals. In your fucking dreams. Hey, Tink. Hey, I just wanted to say that after that fight, I feel like I can relate to what happened to you more. <laughs> I mean, you really connected with your avatar, right? Maybe even talk to her? Talk to who? Your avatar. Codex, it's just the game. Right, absolutely. Yeah. I was Hi, Tink. Nice work back there. For a girl, you're not a bad player. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> you know, you play something eight hours a day, you can't help but be the... Did you just grab your boob? Yes. Are you letting people do that now, or...? No! Oh, oh, high five. Hey, look, I know you don't want to do me, and that's cool. Actually, Riley kind of put me off woman for quite some time. Well, I'm glad you realized she wasn't good for you. Alone. Do not want to have to rescue you again? <laughs> Rescue me, whatever. Really? Okay, I'll leave you a few ego chunks. Oh, hey, that's the first time you've smiled at me without looking like you're a passing gas. <laughs> but you did it, we won, right? So, uh... I'm spanked, you got me. So, you, me, drinks, 8 p.m., Renatas. I'll see you there.
I'm going out that guy? Seriously? No, no, absolutely not. Ugh.